next poem gives the lie to the impression that many people have that Robert Frost's poems are bland. <laughs> Wait till you hear this one. <laughs> Called Out, Out, the buzzsaw snarled and rattled in the yard and made dust and dropped so late sticks of wood, sweet scented stuff when the breeze grew across it. And from there, those that lifted eyes could count five mountain ranges, one behind the other, under the sunset, far into the north. And the saw snarled and rattled, snarled and rattled, as it ran like a had to bear a load, and nothing happened. Day was all but done. Call the day, I wish they might have said, to please the boy by giving him the half hour that a boy counts so much when saved from work. His sister stood beside them in her apron to tell them, Summer! At the word, the saw, as if to prove saws knew what supper meant, leaped out at the boy's hand, or seemed to leap. He must have given the hand. However it was, Nina refused the leaping. But the hand, the boy's first outcry was a rueful laugh as he swung toward them, holding up the hand half in a field, but half as if to keep the light from spilling. Then the boy saw all, since he was old enough to know Big boy doing a man's work, though a child at heart. He saw all spoiled. Don't let him cut my hand off. The doctor, when he comes, don't let him, sister. So, but the hand was gone already. The doctor put it in the dark of ether. He lay and puffed his lips out with his breath, and then the watcher at his house took fright. No one believed. They listened at his heart. Little, less, nothing. And that Peace was written for the John Kennedy inauguration. It wasn't read at that time. Preceding the Dark Right, as was intended, it was 
several reasons that many of us might know. The sun, the solar quotient, etc. What's remarkable in this, this is the lecture here, is appropriate to uh, attend the sense that Robert Frost had of entering a very positive period to the political process. And it's always interesting when people feel that the political process can produce that kind of positive result. With that positive sense in mind, my musician friends are going to play Space to Shots of Well, I intend to give the extraordinary dignity that this deserves. So many artists to participate in the august occasions of state seems something artists ought to celebrate. Today is, for my cause, a day of days. And his be poetry's old fashioned praise, who was the first to think of such a thing? This verse that in acknowledgement I bring goes back to the beginning of the end of what had been the centuries, the trend, a turning point in modern history. Colonial had been a thing to be as long as the great issue was to see what country be the one to dominate by character, by tongue, by native trade. The new world Christopher Columbus, Columbus found the French, the Spanish, the Dutch were down and counted out. Heroic deeds were done. Elizabeth the First and England won. Now came on a new order of the ages that in the land of our founding sages, this is not a dog, they will carry in our purse and pocket still. God nodded his approval of as good. So much those heroes still in understood. I mean, the great four Washington, John Adams, Jefferson, and Madison. So much they knew as consecrated seers, they must have seen ahead, but now it appears. They would bring down empires around our ears, and by the example of our declaration, make everybody wants to be a nation. And this is no aristocratic joke. <laughs> and the expense of negligible folk, we see now how seriously the races swarm in their attempts at sovereignty and form. They are our wards. We think to some extent for the time being and with their consent to teach them how democracy is meant. New order of the ages, did we say? If it looks too orderly or not too orderly today, it's the confusion was ours to start. So in it, we have to take a courageous part. No one who honest feeling would approve a ruler who pretended not to love the turbulence. Everyone knows the glory of the twain who gave America the aeroplane to ride the whirlwind and the hurricane. Some poor fools would say in his heart, glory is out of hate and life and art. Our adventure in revolution and outlawry has justified itself in freedom's story. Right now, now to the glory upon glory, not fresh from the election, but the last. The greatest vote a people ever had. So close it should be invited by. It is no miracle. Our mood is high. Courage is in the air, embracing bliss. Better than all the stalemates, hands, and imps. There was the book of profile tales declaring from the emboldened politicians daring to bring with followers when in the wrong. He held the independence of the throng, a democratic form of right divine to rule first answerable to what he had designed. There is a call to life a little sterner, and braver than the earner, learner, yearner, less criticism of the field and court and more preoccupation with the sport. It makes the prophet in all of us presage the glory of the next Augustan age, of a power leading from its strength and pride, of young ambition eager to be tried. A golden age, a golden age of poetry and power, of which this new day is the beginning of our Robert Carson.